Hello folks, professionals and students, let's welcome back. Another important thing we are going to learn, it's it's some extent important, some extent it is harmful uh, in your real-time practice process. Of course, all these T codes will be will not be allowed until unless if there is a certain requirement, you have to write the file factor access to access all these T codes in production system. But no one can stop you in practice system. You can give it a try, but here also I will tell some warning. So the topic today is, okay, how to delete business partner or set flag for deletion and customer blocks at various states in s 4 You can take any s 4 for that matters, okay? Let's check this today. So, you can see all these are the three T codes. BP is for, you know, for business partner creation. This is for one special transaction for deletion. Currently, it is active. And this is, again, for deletion of the business partner directly. And this is for at a database level. But it is not recommended. It is not recommended until unless if you find a special process. You can consider first one as a priority and remaining I will give explanation about that. But it is not required to learn each and everything per deletion. For creation, it is more important in our life. Deletion, anyone can do it. Okay. So let me go to the BP first. Okay. So let me get into the BP. Okay, search. I'll take one BP as an example. For example, okay, I'm just taking this BP as an example. So for this, so this BP ends with 009 and let's try to check the status first. Okay, so you can able to manually put archiving flag Deletion means completely deleting or setting up the deletion flag. Archiving is like, you know, certain, suppose this BP is used in certain transactional documents. Certain cases for movement or else certain specific purpose, you'll just set it as an archiving flag. If you don't set this archiving flag, those documents which supposed to be archived from system to system, it will not be useful. Of course, it will behave like a deletion flag if I do that. Okay. Next one is central lock. This, you cannot test it. If you test it, everyone think that this is the block for all uh, partner roles which is assigned to this particular BP, not at all. This is, of course, it is, but this is uh, when you are moving BP, BP to CRM system. Such a case only, it is useful. This is just for theory. You have status like not released, probably you can put authorization, you cannot be able to use it. And you have a contact, contact, uh, even any contact person is there, like, you know, so he permitted, not permitted, or forbidden, something, some status will be there, of course. Uh, so the question is that you go to the sales and distribution. Let me try to show you. Okay, better go to the change mode of this. And if you go to the status, okay. This is quite common, what you have seen in ECC. First, we'll check for blocking, then we'll check for deletion. You can check this is either, if you have, this is same BP got extended for multiple sales areas. Such a case, you have to put the block or else you can put the block for particular sales area. And in the similar way, you can able to, you will not allow the customer for delivery. For that, you know, you can at a delivery level, you can able to keep the block and billing level also, you can keep the block for all sales areas or particular sales area. And there is one more buttons, like, you know, this is for sales support. And if you see, only flag for deletion. Okay, if you'd like to put for this one, you can able to do it. Let's give a test for this one by one. Okay. So let me try to put it for all sales areas. Of course, I have only one sales area. Okay. If you create multiple sales areas, you can able to test this one out. Okay. Let me try to check. Let's save this first. Okay. No problem. So once we save, you can go to the Partner functions, this is the partner actually, this guy who's supposed to rise a sales order. Okay, we'll check one by one. Flag for deletion is more important. Let's put this. 
So now it is blocked. In the similar way, how you have an ECC, in the similar way, same options available over there. Okay. Now let's go to the BP again. Okay. Let's select this. Okay, go to the status. Just remove this. Just wanted to give a warning then. Okay, either you can put it, uh, okay. Let me put it for sales actually. This is for particularly for sales order. Okay, so let's do this. Test, I remove the block, hard block I remove. So that one also we can make it a soft block with the help of ABAP or else we can able to do it. See now see, you are getting a message for market for deletion, but still it allows, okay? If you want, we can give something, okay? And save us, okay? Let it be, okay? You can able to save this. Previously, you cannot, uh, there is a hard block. You can able to do, you cannot able to do it, okay? Now let's go to the BB. We'll check one by one, okay? So this one, this one is, let me try to search. Okay, come here. Okay, sales area will come market for deletion. That is the warning you are getting. Okay, at sales area level, you can this. This is the specialty of this. Okay, let's remove this one more time. Okay, now he is read for all blocks. Okay, at sales order level. The similar way you can able to do it for. Delivery level. So now you don't have an issue because I removed this one. Okay. Let's put it something for incomplete block. Now save. Okay. So let me go for flag for deletion. This is very, very important. Okay. So let's go for PP now. So you can able to put it archiving manually. Okay. Let me show you this one. What is hard run and a soft run you are going to learn now. Okay. So now go to the general data of this. Okay. So this is BP general data, right? Now go to the status. Okay. So if you want, you can give it right. Okay, central block, you can you can take and test it, it will not work. It is not restricted for this uh, particular environment. Like, you know, if you are trying to move from your customer from um, your S4 HANA to CRM or something like that, there is some communication. Such a case, you can able to put it central block so that, you know, it will not work for other systems. Such a case, archive, you can keep it manually. Okay, that anyhow, I will show you. But let me try to explain you how you have to delete it, okay? Just go to this transaction, okay? So when you come to this, this is the first transaction, pra DA, okay? So second, I don't have an authorization. It has a lot of things need to set up. You know, let's try to learn this first, okay? So first, what you have to do is, uh, so versus BP09, yeah. This is the BP I have created, I think. So let's try to set a flag. See, if you wanted to see all these are the flags with application log, save application log, and test run. All these are the parameters. How do you control this at the time of deleting? To be deleted or to be archived? You have two options, okay? I'm just putting to be deleted, can be deleted, okay? You know, I made a selection of this, okay? It doesn't have any significance. Let's try to do this, okay, on test run. So it is has has status flagged for deletion. That's what it is. Green means it is working. Certain errors there, then it will stop you. Let's let's uh, put it uh, uh, remove this one, and this is for checking only. Now actual. So now see, do you want to change selection selected business partners on testing? It won't ask you. But actually, if you really want to do it, you will get this message. Think twice before. Now the business partner stat status set for flag for deletion. Okay. Now let's go to the BP now. 
So certain times it might be useful. We don't know. Like uh, so now you can able to see this this guy who is in red color. Previously I have done for this. So this is got uh, how you can able to identify. It. Okay. So this is marked for deletion. One thing. Now you can able to see this. This is changes not permitted. Stop. It is hard stop. It is coming. So there where is the change button? It's gone. You are not able to make any changes for this. So if it is warning, then you will get a warning here. The stop means you cannot able to see now archiving flag also is coming. This is how the uh, the deletion works. Okay. So let me go there. Let me show you something else. Let's give it a try. Okay. So no, no. I would like to go the same transaction again. Okay. So now just take your BP. If you would like to reset it, okay, just remove the test, okay, and let's run this. What it will happen, we'll see. Ideally, resetting deletion flag. If it is once removed, it is resetting. That's what is meaning all about. Let's try to test, test this one. At certain times, the same transaction, dump, it is giving dump like this, okay? Let's see this, let's see our luck. I think it is certain times it is working, certain times it is dumping. Actually, it will remove actually, some SQL error it got it, okay? So we cannot do anything, okay? Now you cannot go to the change mode also. Okay. Let me go the uh, same transaction. Let's give it a try one more time, if any chances are there. So let's, let's remove this and run this. Okay, first we run the test run. Still, it is giving dump. I can stop this. Is it getting or what? Let's see this. Taking time. Last one also got down. Well, let's give a last try for resetting this one. Okay. If it is works, it works. Worst, it will not work. Okay. So let's take this the same BB partner. So something is happening. We want to change the selected BP. See, it is not flagged for deletion. Okay, this part up. Okay. Now let's go to the BP. Okay. Let's go inside and check uh, for this. Still, it is not working. It's a hard block, actually, it seems to be. Okay. Okay, what we can do is now. Last try, reset, but actually it's supposed to be reset. It is not allowing, this transaction is dumping anymore. Let's see this, last try. Mm, we haven't selected anything. That's right. So don't try. Uh, so like, uh, don't try to do experiments, okay? Okay, but this warning is giving, but actually it is not resetting. 
that is something weird. Okay. So yeah, 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 it came out. Great, great, great. This time working two times dump. Someone is doing in background. Okay. So now you can modify this. So that warning you will get it. Okay. No issues. Uh, I'll just try to sort it out what exactly it is. Now you got a change button back. You can play with the system. Now your archive flag is gone. This is how you have to do it. Okay. So let me show you this one. Uh, this is not working. Why? Because uh, like, uh, let me run in test mode this one. This is for local only. Uh, let me put it or the nine. Okay. Let me give it a try. Any other further options? We don't have anything. Okay, let's try to run this. So this is there. Okay, B U P A L M. This function uh, is not activated. Actually, what happens? This function is activated. Don't try this one. Just for information only, I'm giving this at this level. But what SAP suggested for support, you have to use this transaction only. Not even this one. Okay, this one is something different. One second. UPA and delete. Okay, now see this. Uh, if I put any partner, for example, this partner, if I run this, it will run and it is saying can be deleted. So then it is saying that one. Okay. So only system status should be deleted. Okay. That you can able to run it. Only records with the deletion flag. These are the things are there. If you run this. Let's see this. If it works fine, sometimes it double passes. This is practice is done. Okay. A fatal error occurred. No business partner deleted. Okay. But I'm telling you, if you remove all these, okay, so it is permanently deleted. That's what it is. Uh, but this will not be recommended at all for practice. Okay. So now it is not allowing, but actually, you know, if you remove all these things, see the transaction absolute, probably like SAP earlier version it has given, but don't. Nevertheless, I'm just asking about remember these two transactions only, specifically this one for functional support. If you got an issue, like you know, some DB need to be deleted, certain process need to be stopped or archived, then use this transaction. Okay. I think you learned something good. I love this. If you really like this, please subscribe my channel to get more inputs like this. And I'm making one. Pause as for Anna Simple Logistics, you will get everything. And this is uh, like um, okay, all these are the different courses at my end. This is the course with total knowledge, 430 lectures. You can keep this one as a backup. There is no much changes with when you compare with ST, ECC versus S4 HANA. I specifically recommend these two courses, everyone. Okay, getting master trade functional specification and IDOC training. If you want to learn VP, I'm adding my video also here business partners. You can try this and these are all these are the business process. This is for credit management. You can give it a try. Uh, so probably I'll, uh, I'll get back to you for maybe after a couple of months with a best course on S4 HANA learning. If you really like this video, please like it. Thank you so much. Your likes will give us a lot of boost. And if you really love my channel, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Yeah, but...